Welcome back to the TransQX7 series of videos. Look in the description for the link to it. In the last video, I redirected you to a bunch of my playlists that I have created for various different receivers. So hopefully you found the playlist for the receiver that you have, and you you may or may not have had a fly controller that's in that playlist, but either way, you can still watch the video. The setup is going to be exactly the same. So at this point, I will assume that everyone has added a receiver into their fly controller, bound to it, connected to it, and got telemetry working. Uh, don't worry, we still have to talk about setting up telemetry in the Tranus. That's going to be a separate video coming up. But we have a few things to do first. Hey JC, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create switches inside the Tranus and then go into Betaflight and set it up in Betaflight. So let's hit the menu button to go to our model selection page. Choose the model you wish to uh, create switches for, and then page over to inputs. We will be using a combination of inputs with mixer. So first go to inputs. It has already created four channels for us, which is going to be the uh, uh, elevator, aileron, thro throttle, and rudder. Uh, these are airplane terms for us multi-rotor guys. It's just throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. So go to five and press enter. Now I'll give it an, a name. I'm going to do many different switches, but this first one I'm just going to do ARM. You only get three characters, so you will have to abbreviate on some of these. And there we go. Now we can actually name it, name it, but we don't have to because if we back out, we see that it's already named ARM. By the way, if you ever back out to the screen and you want to get back into it, just hold the button down and then press edit. For source, we need to choose a switch that we want for the switch. So press enter, and you can scroll through here and manually find it, but the easier thing to do is pick out a switch that you want. So for arm, let's just say I want this one. I'm going to flick it, and it automatically finds it for us. Then press enter to save it, and that's it. Press exit, that takes you to the top of the page, exit again, and we're back on this page. So I'm going to do the same thing again. And this time I will do a switch for flight modes. Go to source, pick a switch. I would suggest a three-way switch because there are three different flight modes. So let's just say I want this one. Then press enter to save it. Then back out. And just keep doing that for however, however many switches you want. Now for uh, my buzzer, I'm actually going to use this momentary switch over here. And this one's going to be for my black box logger. That's enough examples. You can keep going if you want. Now let's page it over to Mixer. So for channel 5, press enter. Now for these names, uh, you can name this wherever you want, but I like to name this auxiliary. It will start with an A, and then I give it a number, which is going to be number 1 for auxiliary 1. And you'll see why I do this in a second once we go into beta flight. For source, it is already. Uh, because I made ARM on channel 5, and this is Mixer channel 5, it's automatically placing ARM on 5, so we don't have to change that. And that's it. So back out and do that again. Okay, now I have uh, A1 to A4. Technically, channel 5 is channel 5, but Betaflight, CleanFlight, and the other configurators sees it as auxiliary number 1 because it does not count throttle, y'all, pitch and roll as an auxiliary. And we're all done here, so let's completely back out. Connect your USB cable to your multi-rotor, which I've already done, and let's go into beta flight. A tip I have is some flight controllers will power the receiver with only the USB cable, some will not. If your receiver is not being powered right now, then you will have to plug in a LiPo battery. Once in beta flight, let's go to modes. First, let me explain how to make stuff show up here. We see arm, failsafe, beeper, FPV angle mix, and on-screen display switch. But what if I want a switch for black box? Well, you have to go to configuration and make sure that black box is turned on and enabled. Then if we go back to modes, we will now see a switch for black box. Now what about the three flight modes? 
Well, right now I have my accelerometer turned off to save some of my CPU load because uh, you want to keep this about 35% or below. But if we go to configuration and I turn the accelerometer on, go back to modes, we now see angle and horizon, and we also have acro. I'm using a bit of an old flight controller, uh, F3 flight controller that still uses uh, I squared C instead of SPI. That's why my CPU load is so high. Um, but in real life, I would, like I said, I would turn off the uh, the accelerometer to drop that CPU load, and I would also disable black box when I'm not using it, and I'd disable a bunch of other stuff because I was sitting at like 18, 20 percent, but. If you want a better explanation, go into my beta flight playlist and I have a video where I explain this way more in depth. But anyway, we're just talking about switches. So for ARM, you do not have to have a switch for ARM. You can use the sticks to ARM. There's a certain sequence. Um, I can't remember if they're both in, down and in or down and out or something like that. I, I can't remember. I always use switches. I, I prefer switches because I use air mode and in air mode your propellers and motors are constantly spinning once it's armed and whenever I crash into a tree or something I like to disarm immediately with the switch. It's faster than using the sticks. So anyway if we click add range so if we go back I placed arm on channel 5 but Betaflight sees that as auxiliary 1. That's why I named it A1. So we will leave this set to augs1 if I flip that switch, we will see this yellow bar moving. So pick out where you want it to be off. So let's say I want it to be off right here. And when I flip it up, I want that to be on, uh, on, which is armed. So we need this bar to be on top of this little bar in the position that I want it on in. I will also move this over to tighten it up. It doesn't have to be like super tight. I mean, technically this is armed, but also technically this is still armed. Well, this is still disarmed and this is armed because it's not inside this box. But I just prefer to do this. Now for the flight modes, click add range, add range. And I put those on channel six, but technically that's auxiliary two. So we will click auxiliary two, and we can put all three flight modes on one switch. So say in this down position, I want that to be angle. Well, the little bar is over here, so I need to place this big yellow bar on top of that one for angle. Then if I put it in the middle position, that could be horizon. So I'm just gonna tuck this in. And then if I flip it all the way up, it's neither one of these. And this is going to be acro flight mode, the third flight mode. If these two little bars are not underneath these big bars, then it automatically puts you in acro flight mode. So for example, if we uh, turn both of these off, whenever we go to fly, we're automatically going to be in acro flight mode. Or if I disable the accelerometer and these flight modes don't even show up, then once again, it's automatically going to go into acro flight mode, which is the hardest flight mode. Angle is the easiest, horizon is the, in the middle. So let me set this back real quick. Now for beeper, I place this on auxiliary three. So choose auxiliary three. Flip the switch to the on position which is going to be over here and there we go so that's off that's on and then we can do the same thing for black box that's auxiliary four this is on a three position switch so in the down position I want this to be off which it is off if I flip it up then that's on and if I flip it up again that's off but what you can do is do this so we have off on and still on or you could do off, off, and on. It's up to you. Once you're done with all of this, click save. My buzzer was going off because I had it armed. But now we want to test all the switches. So the box is gray if the switch is turned off. So let's test black box. 
So we have off, off, and on. The box turns yellow, so it's working. Now let's try beeper. The box turns yellow, and it's also beeping, so we definitely know that one's working. The different flight modes. In the down position, I want angle. In the middle position, I want horizon. And in the up position, I want acro, which is going to be neither one of these, so they're both turned off. That means I'm in acro. And then we can do arm. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you want a better explanation of what the different flight modes do and how they act, then look in my Betaflight series of videos uh, where you'll find that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.